Hi, everybody. My name is Ari Jacobs, and welcome. I am the North of 60 Gamer, and this is the North of 60 Gaming channel. Today, we are going to do something just a touch different. I'm at my uh, editing computer as opposed to my actual computer I use for videotaping. So if you see some quality issues, it's because I'm not really doing this on the better machine. But I'm taking the tack today that we're now, instead of looking at Kickstarters and brand new games, we're going to go back. Uh, I've logged on to 401 Games in Toronto just to show you some games that I think have some great value in playing. Some of them have been around for a couple of years. Some of them are a little newer. But what I really want to emphasize is the price. You can get some great games under $50. So what I've done is I put together 10 games, actually 11, all under $50, and I'm going to we're going to take a look at them. I'm going to talk to them very briefly. This isn't a deep dive into any of these games. Basically, we're just talking about the main mechanic and, and what I like about the games and why I think they're worth a buy. Now, of course, always you can go out to Kickstarter and spend. I just saw a game the other day. I looked at it and said, well, ever cool. And the base core game was $150 Canadian. I'm like going. I'm running out of money here. I, I can't back games like that anymore. So I'm going to help you try to look at games that are under 50 bucks that are not necessarily on Kickstarter. Well, but I will say there's a nice little Canadian Kickstarter going called Earth. Have a take a look at that. It looks really unique. A ton of stuff in the box. And only about $60 Canadian. I think it was $54 Canadian. And I'm trying to get a prototype uh, to bring to you. But for now, we're just going to go and look at retail stores. Uh, most of these games are in stock. You can try to find them somewhere else. I think one or two are out of stock. Uh, but let's get down to it. Let's go. So here we are. We're looking at the first game. You can see this is for one games. This is my go-to place where I buy games. Every price is Canadian prices. So they do ship to the United States and other places. But this is all based on Canada. They have a flat rate shipping if you uh, buy anything at $8.95. They have a free shipping if you're over $150. That's strictly Canada. I can't speak to the rest of the world. The first game I've pulled out here is Black Sonata. This is a solo deduction game. We will travel around London looking for the dark lady. And you'll move around trying to pick up the clues and try to deduct who the dark lady is. It's a fun game. It lasts about 30 minutes. It is only a solo game. You can see the price, $31.95 from TCG Games. This is a lot of fun uh, if you like deduction. Uh, it is hard. Don't get me wrong. I've played a few times. I don't usually win. There is a way of shuffling the cards. So the games are different every time. But the basis of the game is always the same. Where is that dark lady? Where in the city can you find her and who she is? Next up, Sagrada. This is a stained glass window that you are trying to build with a number of different dice. And there are a bunch of rules. This is Floodgate Games. And the rules basically are you're going to roll the dice. Everybody's going to draft the dice. There are some cards to help you. And you will place the dice in a specific way in your window by matching cards or number or both and trying not to leave any spaces because you want to fill in your window. Because if you miss a few windows, you could lose the opportunity of gaining good bonus scores. So, but this is a great game. I, I believe with the expansion, you can play up to five to six players, as well as there's a couple of other expansions that give there just a little bit more things that you can do, as well as there are great some great promos to give you some more uh, window cards that you can slip in and play your choice of windows. Each window has its own difficulty and depending on the difficulty you may have the ability to go in and or use more of the helpful cards help cards if i can say that uh take a look there's plenty of videos on that but sagrada 37.95 can't lose great game highly recommend it we're going to look at the next one azul used to stained glass windows to floors and here you are creating a mosaic on a floor. You are pick up your resources. You're going to place them and try to match the tiles in the mosaic and score your rows and columns each turn 
the person with the highest score wins. Uh, this is a great little game, a lot of fun. It's a filler. Most of these games are fillers, though I would say that Black uh, Sonata is a little bit more in, in the strategic or deduction, which makes it maybe a bit harder. But Azul is just a basically you pick up the resources, you pick up everything, and you have to use everything. And the rest either fall to the wayside or into the center where the next person uh, picks them up. And the game has a bit of get that to it, but not a lot. Basically, it's competitive solitaire. There is a solitaire version, as well as, of course, Black Sonata was. And Sagrada has a solo version. Most of these games you'll see today have solo versions. Great game, forty-one ninety-five. Next move games, I highly recommend it. Next, this one's sold out, but I'm going to tell you, a lot of fun. Paper Dungeons is a dungeon scrawler, they call it. Basically, it's a roll and write where you're going to travel the dungeon to try to beat the ultimate bad guy. Uh, this you can travel potions, craft swords, and different things. Fall into traps, fight monsters, all to grow your character so that you can have the most points and beat the ultimate bad guy at the very, very end. It's a very typical roller, right? It, it's very, very quick. It's $25.95. I highly recommend it if you can get a copy. I have a copy in the house now, and I've played it a few times. Uh, I, I compare it to Cartographers, which we're not talking about, which is another roller and white game in this, you know, in the $25 to $30 game. The, those two would be really two good roll and rights that you would have a lot of fun with if you were going on vacation or just have a lot of friends because you can play this with a lot of people. You're only limited to basically by the components that are in the box. Cartographers, I've seen, uh, I've been to, I won a tournament once and there were like a hundred players. So you know what? You can play a hundred players if you really wanted to. Next, Terraforming Mars, Ares Expedition, Stronghold Games. Uh, Terraforming Mars, as you know, has been a staple in my collection and a lot of people's collections over the last year. $43.95. This is a card version of it. It's been scaled down. It's been uh, streamlined in rules. Basically, everybody gets to take uh, action, and the person who takes an action gets a bonus action, and you select your action, and then everybody you do the actions that are selected. So you don't get to do everything in a turn like you do in Terraforming Mars. You only get those actions that are selected by the players. And you go around until basically you terraform Mars. It is a fun version. I like it better. It's a really good way of teaching a lighter version of the game. And then once they're good with the concept of how the game works, you could bring them easily into the bigger terraforming Mars game. This is a game you can see here, $43.95. One to four players, plays in about an hour, maybe a little less. But this is a great game for under $50. Moving along, Welcome to the Moon. I just came across this. Now, I don't own this yet. I only watched a preview of it. I am going to get this. This is a roll and write game, but the difference is it has basically about eight different maps that you can use or eight different versions of the game and a campaign game. So it has a lot of the concepts of Welcome to to the neighborhood or whatever that game is, or Welcome To, where there's cards with numbers on it and you have to fill out the numbers and numbers can't be next to each other and all those types of things, kind of stuff, except this is Welcome to the Moon. So you will have a moon base. Uh, $40.95, Dude Games. Uh, I, I, welcome To and Welcome to the Moon, uh, I think would be a great game for any collection under $50. Century Spice Roads, $30, Plan B games, been around for a while. This is a go-to game for me and my non-gamer friends, because uh, I can put it on the table, sets up in five minutes, teaches in five minutes, plays in a 45 minutes, and then tears down in five minutes. This is the 555 game. This is one of these great games that no matter who you play with is a lot of fun. There is a, a Golem edition which I think the components are actually better, but it's the same game where you're going to manipulate spices to get bigger spices in order to fulfill orders. And the first person that gets the five or six orders, depending on how many the player count. So once somebody gets the five or six orders, you, you total up the score and wh whoever has the most score wins. 
this is a great game and it, and there's a couple other versions of this but by far i would say this is the best and the easiest of the two of them and i highly recommend it. so destinies oh my gosh what a great game this is a choose your own adventure game with a board game it's highly determined on an app so much fun what basically what you're doing is going around on the locations interacting with those locations trying to fulfill the various things you need to do to solve the problem. It is a great game. It's a lot of fun. It's immersive. Depending on the scenario, it could take an hour or two. I was totally immersed once that when my wife had something to do, I didn't even realize two hours had passed and I was playing this game. It's not heavy on components. The components you have are good and solid, but such a fun game. If you don't want to have a choose your own adventure and use the books, this is the way to go, Destiny. Again, $44.95. There's a, there's a couple of expansions, so you can play a number of the of different things beyond the core game, or a number of expansions beyond the core game. Fallout Shelter, or who doesn't know the game Fallout? Well, here we are. Here's your chance to make people happy in your shelter by using your resources to go out and build new rooms and go out and collect goods so that you can protect your rooms from invaders such as radioactive cockroaches and things like that fun little game it is for two players only there are some one player variants i don't believe this is actually a solo game in its own but there are a couple of really good variants and i do love the one that i saw the other day and uh, basically where you're playing both colors and then you play one color and the other then you pick up that color and it plays as it to keep the restrictions down on the rooms and things in a beautiful tin some nice components, $42.95, Fantasy Flight Games. I think it's one of their better games. Uh, they do make some great games, but for us, for under 50 bucks, great game. We're coming down to the last two games here. Search for Planet X. Oh, my God. This is, again, there's an app, and what you're looking for is where the Planet X is in the sky. And it's kind of a, there's a rondelle, and each rondelle has a section. And you try to deduce what's in that section. And, and you write those down and you keep track of those. And at the end of the game, you're trying to find out which section has Planet X in based on a hierarchy of deduction. If you remember those old games where, you know, Peter has an orange and Jane likes apples, and but Jill likes grapes. Who else likes oranges? Oh, yeah, well, okay. And those kinds of games, crossword games, or in those crossword puzzle books. This is Search for Planet X. Uh, Final little game. Love the app. Renegade Studios. They always make good, solid games. $35.95. This is a good value game for that under $50 mark. Lastly, I just got this. I haven't played it yet. Horrified American Monsters. So if you know Horrified... You know that they're using cinematic type monsters like the mummy and the werewolf and Dracula, the B movies. So this is horrified American monsters. You have to protect the Cross Creek from Bigfoot, the Jersey Devil, the Jersey Devil, Mothman, Chupacabra, Ozark Howler, and the Banshee of the Badlands. So this is basically the same system. There are some unique stuff around this game, and the monsters are certainly unique. Uh, you can play this solo, probably best play it with two-handed. I don't usually play the solo game. I usually play it two-handed, at least the horrified. Again, $41.95. There's lots of stuff in the box. This game is ultimately repeatable. So much fun. You get six monsters of which you'll choose somewhere between three and four of them, depending on how hard a game you want. You can even have five, uh, depending on the level of game you want. You can play up to four people. Uh, it is suggested that it's a, the three-player spot is really good because the fourth player you could get wailed on and, and not even be able to have a turn to react to this. So the sweet spot's two or three. $41.95. I think this is a great value for under 50 bucks. I hope you enjoyed this little roundup of under $50 games. There were 11 of them. I hope you can appreciate that you don't have to go out and buy a $150 game to have fun in the board game space. You can find these games in most retail or online providers or online stores so please go out and buy them and support the industry and have fun if you like what you see please click and hit the like button 
subscribe as always. I really do appreciate it. I take time out to do these types of videos to try to bring this content for you. By subscribing just shows me your appreciation of taking my time out during my day to put these little videos together for you. This week, you may be saying, why well, don't I have a game out? I am working on it. I've got a game on the table right now. I'm working through. Uh, I have a game in edit. Uh, I finished my backlog of games, and so I'm starting to get that rolling again. So th this is, I just want to get some content out for you this week and talk about inexpensive games. As always, you can find me just about anywhere where there's a board game on Facebook. Uh, board Game Revolution, Board board Games for One, everything board games, the Solo Board Grand Group, Solo Board Gamers, every board game group that you can possibly think of, perhaps. Or maybe not, but just take a look for me. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Goodbye for now. My name is Harry Jacobs. I am the North of 60 Gamer, and this is the North of 60 Gaming Channel.